Hello and welcome once again to my tour of the Commonwealth. This is your general here, <laughs> General Giselle. I put, I'm a lady on this walkthrough. Uh, yes, um, <laughs> it's weird talking as a lady when I'm a man, but there you go. <laughs> right. uh, I'm at Warwick Farmstead, which is here. Warwick Homestead, sorry, not Farmstead, and it's uh, just north of the wreck of the FMS Northern Star, just a little bit over the water from Spectacle Island. So I'm going to show you around what I've done here. Not masses stuff stuff done here, but you know the usual little bit of building um, right, obviously a wall because you've got to keep the bastards out that's my catchphrase, that should be the general's catchphrase, got to keep the bastards out, uh, obviously there's not enough room for, with a door like this, there's not enough room for the Brahmin to get in, I suppose I should use the big doors, but I just started you know, maybe I should do that in future, so Brahmin can get in alright, and Cricket doesn't stand outside talking rubbish to people but I see you're not much down here, just a simple, plain, simple wall across here I left the fence in place so you've got double protection there and around here because they always spawn here the enemies so I put a lot of spike traps here although they don't seem to do a great deal I managed to get a few of them under the waterline as well so they're not actually visible so it looks more immersive I suppose you could call it immersive is my, my catchphrase for the day now that I remember the word I'm always forgetting that word in my videos yeah. right so yeah just a little walkway here with a turret gun and sentry posts just to uh, just to keep the bastards out not much uh, protection here against the sea though uh, I'm assuming my lurks don't necessarily come and attack unless you bother my lurks I, I get a feeling they don't actually bother coming to attack you I, I think my lurks are like territorial my, my guess anyway they're very territorial but they won't necessarily come out outright to attack you unless you start straining their area so maybe Maybe there's an accord. What the hell are you doing out there, Curie? How did you manage that all of a sudden? Strange girl. Yeah, I had a bit of a mystery, actually. I, w I went to bed in, a, uh, in the um, sanctuary, and Curie had her armour on, and she woke up, obviously. Sometimes they stay in their armour all night. Sometimes they wake up and they get out of bed with you, and uh, they, they haven't got their armour on anymore. So you've got to try and find where the bloody hell their armour's got to. So I was walking around my sanctuary maze for ages trying to find her, her armour, and then I've come to work homestead, and it's here. So it's like, how the hell did that happen? That's a, a most perplexing mystery. But anyway, I'm not here for that. I'm here just to show you around. Right, so that's the main building where everyone lives in under normal circumstances. I've uh, built it up a little bit higher. Not really just a wall, really. Just uh, hiding up some turret... Not turret posts. Guard posts. Guard posts, turret guns. I can never get the bloody two, two right. I made a Brahmin pen here a little while ago, which of course they always leave open because that's how they roll. A little bit of uh, protection from the hay so the hay doesn't get wet, and the, the Brahmin can always come and sit underneath there if it's feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, right, I'm going to shut that gate. Q is going to open it again in a minute. Never mind. Right, uh, what's this? Oh, this is one of my mailbots. This is mailbot V4. I think this mailbot operates between. Uh, Actually, no, I don't want any. I'll be back later. I'll be back later. Yeah. I think this is the one that goes from Warwick Homestead to um, to Spectacle Island. Although it's a bit weird having a provisioner because all they do is swim. They swim across the irradiated ocean from uh, from one place to another. It's a bit strange. Even uh, in other places, I've noticed provisioners swimming like across rivers. Rather than sticking to the road, it's all a bit weird. I suppose they're just, they're just, I don't know, going a straight line or something. Anyway, let me show you what I've built. Right, this is a three-story building here. Nice and scrappy, a few different uh, materials. Right, so just at the front, you've got the, you've got the uh, general store. Yes, yes, we beat the raiders up. Don't worry about it. We do it all the time because we're badass. Right, uh, beds. Yeah, a few chairs, mainly just beds to sleep in. But right, then you can go up here to this side, uh, and you've just got one guard post here. Just one guard post to protect in the door. A uh, couple of beds, roof over your head to keep you keep you dry. And uh, if you want to get up to the next level, look up these stairs. Uh, you have a guard post here. Looking down over in case anyone comes in and. Uh, Try anything. Uh, up here we go. We've got this is the bar. This is where they come and eat at the in the evening times. Another guard post as well, because you can never have enough guard posts. 
So in case you have to fall back, if you see someone attacking you, you start off by manning the wall, and if you have to fall back, if you overrun, you've got various other places to come to where you can continue the fight from. Right, so here's the bar. All kind of advertising for stuff they've got for sale. Hello, barman. Huh? Yes. Huh, to you too. Right, oh, and there's a little housey housey up here as well. Just a little shack for extra sleeping area for a couple more people. Because down, we got, yeah, we got enough room for everybody anyway. Enough beds for all. And this is, I like using the, the crappy walls so I can put bits of stuff, just, you know, old signs or whatever, to cover up the holes. Because I, as I said before, I like to think of it, that my stuff isn't built from scratch, but rather it's dragged here from other locations. Uh, that's how I view it. Uh, right, yeah, that's not, not an awful lot more to show you at Warwick Homestead. Uh, you've got the power, the power, you've got the water, and you've got the power over there inside one of these uh, tanks, one of these reservoirs, whatever you call them. Yeah, I think they're called reservoirs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you, you, uh, my settlers get to it, I just, I, I can get there because I have to, I can jump, but they don't, they don't go there. Oh, uh, yes. Anyway, that was it. Not much to see. Little bit of buildy building. Not a great deal. See you on the next tour.